Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. In the quest for sustainable and clean energy sources, hydrogen has emerged as a promising candidate. Among the various methods of hydrogen production, seawater electrolysis has garnered significant attention due to its potential to leverage abundant seawater resources. This analysis delves into the economic viability of seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production, examining its costs, comparative advantages, scalability, and future prospects. Seawater electrolysis is a process that uses electricity to split seawater into its constituent elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen produced can be used as a clean fuel source for various applications, from transportation to industrial processes. Unlike traditional water electrolysis, which requires freshwater resources, seawater electrolysis taps into the vast oceans, potentially solving issues related to water scarcity and hydrogen production. The economic viability of seawater electrolysis hinges on its cost effectiveness. Currently, the levelized cost of hydrogen produced through this method ranges from $3 to $8 per kilogram. This cost can be broken down into two main categories, capital costs and operating costs. Capital costs include the initial investments required to set up a seawater electrolysis facility. These encompass electrolysis systems and supporting infrastructure, seawater intake and pretreatment facilities, and power supply and control systems. The development of more efficient and durable materials for electrodes and membranes could significantly reduce these capital costs in the future. Operating costs are ongoing expenses associated with running a facility. The major components are electricity consumption, which is the most significant factor, accounting for a large portion of the operating costs, maintenance and replacement of components, as the corrosive nature of seawater necessitates regular upkeep, and labor and monitoring, as skilled personnel are required to operate and oversee the facility. Advancements in technology and increased efficiency could potentially reduce these operating costs over time. Industry experts and researchers project that the cost of hydrogen production through seawater electrolysis could decrease to $2 to $4 per kilogram in the coming years. This optimistic outlook is based on several factors, technological improvements in electrolysis efficiency, economies of scale as more facilities are built, decreasing costs of renewable electricity, which is often used to power the electrolysis process, and advancements in materials science, leading to more durable and efficient components. To fully understand the economic viability of seawater electrolysis, it's crucial to compare it with other hydrogen production methods. Steam methane reforming is currently the most widely used method for hydrogen production. It offers lower costs, ranging from $1 to $2 per kilogram of hydrogen. However, it relies on fossil fuels, typically natural gas, and this is not a clean production method. It produces substantial CO2 emissions, which need to be captured and stored to make the process environmentally friendly. The addition of carbon capture and storage technology significantly increases the cost, potentially making it less economically attractive compared to cleaner alternatives. Conventional water electrolysis, which uses freshwater instead of seawater, has similar costs to seawater electrolysis. While it may have lower capital costs due to less complex water treatment requirements, it often incurs higher operating costs related to water purification, especially in water-scarce regions. Several other hydrogen production technologies are in various stages of development, including photocatalytic water splitting, biomass gasification, and thermochemical water splitting. While these technologies show promise, they are generally at earlier stages of development compared to seawater electrolysis and their economic viability is still being established. The scalability of seawater electrolysis is a critical factor in its economic viability. Several aspects make this technology attractive for large-scale deployment. The vast availability of seawater means that production is not limited by resource scarcity, unlike freshwater-based methods. Electrolysis systems can be designed in a modular fashion, allowing for flexible scaling and easier maintenance. Seawater electrolysis facilities can be co-located with offshore wind or solar farms, reducing electricity transmission costs and leveraging existing infrastructure. However, scaling up seawater electrolysis also presents challenges. 
The corrosive nature of seawater requires the development of highly resistant materials for long-term operation. Continued research is needed to enhance the efficiency of the electrolysis process in seawater conditions. As many projects aim to use renewable energy to power electrolysis, managing the variability of these energy sources is crucial for consistent hydrogen production. Several factors are driving interest in seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production. Many industries are looking to decarbonize their processes, creating a growing market for clean hydrogen. Many countries are implementing policies to support clean energy technologies, including hydrogen production. A growing number of companies are setting ambitious carbon reduction targets, driving demand for clean energy solutions. These drivers are spurring the development of various business models. Large-scale coastal or offshore hydrogen production facilities could supply hydrogen to industrial clusters or for export. Combining hydrogen production with desalination could provide both clean fuel and freshwater to coastal regions. Smaller-scale systems could serve island communities or remote coastal areas, providing local energy security. The path to full commercialization of seawater electrolysis technology is already underway. Several pilot projects are currently operating, demonstrating the feasibility of the technology. Industry experts anticipate the first commercial-scale deployments within the next 5 to 10 years. The timeline for widespread adoption will depend on continued technological advances, supportive policies, and the overall trajectory of the clean energy transition. While seawater electrolysis for hydrogen production is not yet the most economical option, its potential for cost reduction and its environmental benefits make it a compelling technology for the future of clean energy. As costs continue to decrease and efficiency improves, it could play a significant role in the global energy mix, particularly in coastal regions and in conjunction with offshore renewable energy projects. The economic viability of seawater electrolysis is steadily improving, driven by technological advancements, increasing demand for clean hydrogen, and supportive policy environments. While challenges remain, particularly in terms of scaling up and reducing costs, the progress made thus far suggests a promising future for this technology in the transition to a sustainable energy system. Thanks for tuning into the ReneEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.